Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to today 88 of 100 days 100 concepts. Today in this video, let's discuss about how heat transfer is taking place in a hollow cylinder. So what is a hollow cylinder? We all know what is a hollow cylinder, right? So it has an inner radius and an outer radius, right? Something like this you see, correct? And everything here is a hollow space, okay? This is a hollow cylinder now if you carefully write down uh, let me say this is a center what will this be this will be r1 similarly what will this be this is what r2 okay let me assume that r2 is an outer radius and r1 is an inner radius so if you see uh, the cross section it will look something like this right so this is how it will be correct so you have hollow space over here otherwise let me just write this way so this is r1 which is the inner radius and this is r2 which is the outer radius so here basically you have a solid thick wall of a uh, we say solid uh, cylindrical wall okay so basically uh, let's also assume this height to be some l okay now heat transfer here if you carefully see this is my solid correct so this part is only solid so if i am talking about conduction what happens how will be my conduction taking place it will be obviously in this way that means there is a radial heat transfer okay radial heat conduction taking place correct in a hollow cylinder you see a radial heat conduction taking place now we all know what is uh four years law correct four years uh, law for conduction heat conduction so that is q equal to minus k a into dt by dr here right because the gradient that we are taking is along the radius that means this indicates my equation for heat transfer in a hollow cylinder okay why dt by dr because we have heat transfer taking place radially okay now we can just integrate this and can directly bring out some interesting formula okay so let me take q dr equal to minus k a dt right now what is this area now so here if you carefully see radially we are telling correct so we should actually consider the lateral surface area what is the lateral surface area lateral surface area here is what this part correct so what will that be that is nothing but the perimeter into this length right that's what is my 2 pi r into l this is what my lateral surface area is so let me just put that here q into dr equal to minus k into what is the area that is said 2 pi r into l into dt now taking this r on the other side what will this be q into dr by r equal to minus k into 2 pi l dt now what do you need to do just integrate it so what are the limits for the radius here it is from the inner radius to the outer radius correct this is what will be my conduction area right because that is the thickness that is a thick solid present over there right that is what you need to actually take and what about uh, your temperature again temperature let's assume that we have some t1 here and t2 here so what will this be this will be t1 to t2 right so just on integrating it you have dx by x dr by r is what ln of r so the final equation will be q equal to 2 pi k l into Okay, let me write t1 minus t2. Okay, so I just took the negative sign inside divided by ln of ln of r and the limits are r2 and r1. So this will be r2 by r1. So therefore, in a hollow cylinder, you see that the heat transfer rate q will be 2 pi k l into t1 minus t2 by ln of r2 by r1 okay so what we can write further we can write this from here what we write usually we write q equal to how do we write dt by r total okay where r is nothing but the resistance 
सो हियर आर विल बी वॉट आर विल बी माई एल एन ऑफ आर टू बाई आर वन डिवाइडेड बाई सो डी टी इज टी वन माइनस टी टू सो वॉट इज द रिमेनिंग टर्म टू बाई के एल ओके सो दिस कैन बी टेकन एज आर टोटल द रेसिस्टेंस ओके सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन इजिली यूज सिंपल फोर इयर लॉ इक्वेशन ओके वेर क्यू इक्वल टू माइनस के ए डी टी बाई टी एक्स बट हियर वॉट वी डिड बिकॉज द हीट ट्रांसफर इज टेकिंग प्लेस रेडियली वी चेंज रिपीट एंड देन इंटीग्रेटेड इट टू गेट द फाइनल आंसर नाउ वी हैव वन क्वेश्चन इन थिंक आई थिंक इन टू थाउजेंड टेन दैट दे हैज हाउ इज द टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन ओके टेम्परेचर वेरिएशन विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द थिकनेस सो हियर द थिकनेस इज बेसिकली इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट रेडियाई करेक्ट आर टू माइनस आर वन इज द थिकनेस सो If you carefully see, dt is proportional to ln of r2 by r1. That means the temperature variation is actually logarithmic. Okay, so the temperature variation is actually in a logarithmic way, right? This is a one mark question in 2010, right? So this is about heat transfer how heat transfer is actually taking place and uh, what is the uh, you know fundamental behind the temperature variation how a temperature profile is being created you can easily get from here okay also uh, we know that we have steady state equations 1d conditions and all for cylinder also we can write a 1d condition okay in 1d condition we can write d by dr of r into dt by dr equal to 0 okay so this is how basically we write okay so how we got that so it's again just take r and dt over here the rest all are constant correct so just by differentiating it you get that okay so this is 1d condition representing a heat transfer equation in a cylinder right so this is about heat transfer how heat transfer is taking place in a hollow cylinder i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and also we have only three more days left for 2022 early bird discount so please do visit everythingmetallurgy.com in order to grab one of the best video course as well as the live classes at the most affordable prices possible so that's it from my side we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys